Hello and welcome. Today we are going to be taking a look at Prada Beauty. So Prada Beauty released last year at Selfridges and it was what I, sort of like a soft launch essentially. They didn't have a ton, things sold out pretty quickly and their plan for the US was to launch here kind of as a rolling launch at the beginning of 2024. So. Prada Beauty is going to be available at Sephora starting on Monday, January 15th, 2024. And it's gonna be rolling out to other retailers throughout the year. So they are not doing everything all at once. Now they have had a Prada Beauty website where you could purchase things here in the US. And you know, they had most things available when they first launched, but not everything. They have since added some things and you know that's another great place to look for something if you have been searching for something in particular but the selfridges prices are cheaper so the us prices are going to be a bit higher than if you purchase them from selfridges but if you're not familiar with selfridges you know it you basically if you're in the us you probably want to purchase the global shipping option which is $65 a year, you have to have a, I think it's a $65 minimum for your purchase now. It used to be 55, but I just renewed and it's now 65. And yeah, so then you get free shipping on those purchases for a year from when you sign up. So that's your best option if there are things from Selfridges that you are interested in purchasing. There are certain things there that are less expensive than US, such as like Sisley skincare and things like that. So fragr fragrances are another great option. So if those are things that you purchase a lot, it's worth looking into. Otherwise, you know, definitely check out US retailers. And once we spread out to department stores and the Sephora sale comes around, those are gonna be great options to purchase these things on sale. So when Prada Beauty launched last year, I picked up a couple of eyeshadow palettes and I also picked up a couple of the lipsticks. They have two different lipsticks for, lipstick formulas, a soft matte and a hyper matte. So we'll talk about those. I have since purchased two more uh, quads, so I now have four, and I also purchased a few more lipsticks. So we're gonna take a look at everything that I have in my Prada Beauty collection. This was one of my 2023 favorites, the eyeshadows in particular, they made it to my 2023 favorite items. And you know, I would have to say this is the best new brand that came out last year. So let's go ahead and get started. We're gonna start off with the eyeshadow palette swatches. All right, so first let's start off with packaging. Now the Prada Beauty makeup is refillable and they do sell refills. So this is the eyeshadow palette packaging. You see we've got silver on the top, the rest of it's gold. And this is where you're gonna punch through for a refill. And it does come with a couple of utensils. So you get a sponge tip applicator and an angled brush. And you can see, you know, it's kind of angled like you would see for like a brow or um, you know, eyeliner brush, but it's definitely way too long for that. So uh, it's not stiff. And so this is the actual compact. This is number one, and you can see this is the way it's arranged. So you have like a thin shade at the top. This is usually gonna be a deep shade. It's great for liner. And then they have a variety of finishes in each palette. So this is, you know, this one here, you know, it's typically either a satin or a matte, mostly a satin, and then we have like stronger shimmers. We've got typically a matte somewhere. So let's go ahead and take a look at the swatches here. And as you can see, we do have a mirror in here. So this is the first palette, and you can see that we have a matte, kind of a um, medium brown here. And then the largest triangle here in the center, this is gonna be a satin, and it's gonna be a warm, more of a, a, it's a warm brown with a touch of orange in it. So it is gonna be pretty warm, whereas the first one is gonna be pretty neutral. And then we have this shimmer. These, I have to say, this satin and the shimmer here, these are very creamy. I mean, look at this. And you can see when we get to the eye swatches, as soon as you put your brush in this, you've got that wet look. This is that wet look metallic finish with no effort. I mean, it is stunning. So you can see that is gonna be a gold. And then we have a matte. And there's always gonna be a pop of color in this, in these. So this is, it's still a slightly creamy matte, but it's not going to be as creamy as the satin or the metallic finish. But yeah, you know, that is palette number one. 
So overall, you've got some warmer shades here, but you also have some slightly cooler shades as well. And, you know, depending what shades you use in here, you can get so many varieties of looks. And I have to say one of the great things about the pops of colors, you can use them very lightly and get a very sheer look or you can build them up. So we do have for palette number two here, we have this black. I have to say this is one of the best black eyeshadows. I mean, look how smoothly that went on and it's like pure black. Next, this triangle, this is one of my favorite shades. So, I mean, look at this. It's like a, it's a gray, right? But you've got a little bit of taupe in there. You've got a little bit of a purpley vibe in there. I think this is stunning. This is a gorgeous shade and definitely one of my favorites. It is probably the majority shade on my lid right now. And we'll see that in the demos. Then we have this silver. And again, these are, I mean, like, look, look how easily that goes on and gives you that wet liquid molten silver. And it's so smooth and silky. Then we have kind of this yellow here, almost a, a little bit chartreuse, but really more, uh, more mustard. So this is the first palette and you know, I didn't think I'd use the yellow. It does add a nice pop of color though, but honestly, like these three shades here, uh, I, they're just stunning. I absolutely love this palette. So that it's actually, I really like all four <laughs> that I picked up. So very happy with that. This is palette number three. And you can see that this shade here at the top, it's actually gonna be kind of more of a purple. You can see there's a little bit of red in there, but it's like um, almost like an aubergine. And then this shade here also, beautiful shade. Uh, this one is gonna be more of a soft brown here. And you can see we've got a little bit of mauve tones in there. And then this one here is more like a, I would say like more like a, it's not really an antique pewter. It's got a little bit more gold in there than that. But you can see the beautiful sheen to it as well. And then we have this great orange shade. To say I, I do really like this orange actually. So that's palette number three. And then palette number four. Out of the two that I picked up originally, which was palette number one, and then this one, this was by far my favorite. This still remains one of my favorites. The shade here, we're gonna squeeze these in here. You have kind of this brown at the top, but it has some red in it. Let me, it's kind of hard to swatch without getting any of the other shade. Um, but you can see it, it's got like that reddish tint to it. And then this one here in the center, this one's a little different because although it's super creamy, it's actually gonna be a matte. And that's gonna be more of a matte peachy shade there. It's like a nude peach. The special shade in here is gonna be this pink shimmer, which I don't love pink eyeshadows, but I love this one. Not only does it look beautiful paired with other shades on here, like I actually like to put the green on and then the pink on top of it but it's just, it's so stunning. The formula is incredible. So this is palette number four. All right, so I added some lines just so you can delineate the four palettes a little bit more easily. So we've got one, two, three, and four. There's also uh, two additional palettes that I did not purchase. So just a little bit closer here. I mean, you can see the quality just from the arm swatches. And I have to say, so we're moving on to eye swatches now. I have to say that one of the reasons I didn't love the Hermes eyeshadows when they came out, I feel like Prada came out with a new, more innovative eyeshadow. They did a fantastic job. Everything about this is wonderful in my opinion. Hermes, I feel like it's a nice product, but it's just okay. You know, like in comparison, you know, you're spending more money on the Hermes, you're getting less product, and the quality is just not as high, in my opinion, as these Prada shadows. If you've tried both, I'd love to know your opinion on it. You know, one of the great things about makeup is everybody has their own opinions and you know, what works for one person isn't necessarily gonna work as well for another, but I think the Prada Beauty eyeshadows 
are just incredible. Formulas are great and I absolutely love the color stories. Even when you look at it and you think, oh, that might not work or oh, I might not really use all those colors. When you start playing around with it, you really do. You know, they really, they're really well thought out. The packaging is very easy to replace the refills. I love the fact that refills are easily available. These are just fantastic. The eyeshadow palettes retail for $80 US or 65 US for the refills. So just some information on the eyeshadow palettes in general, and this is from Prada Beauty. We have a two year shelf life on these. They are six grams of product each, and they are made in France. And I have to say, again, they are phenomenal. I cannot say that enough. So just a few details from their website. The Prada Dimensions is inspired by the iconic prints from the house archives. Every eye palette is the unique combination of three sophisticated neutrals and a single eccentric accent shade in four dynamic finishes, including satin, soft matte, hyper matte, and metallic foil. An invitation to explore all of your dimensions and to experiment with endless combinations of easy to wear, easy to dare eye looks with maximal color expression. And they talk about their technology and ingredients that they're using. They use a low pressure injection process with micro pixel pigments to get one stroke color payoff with high color resolution. They've got the creamy powder finish eyeshadows, which if you notice during these eye swatches and during the demos, there's no fallout. I mean, these, they stick to your lids, they last all day without creasing, and you know, you're not, you don't have to worry about fallout. It's fantastic. Uh, according to them, they have a skin affinity that provides weightless comfort in 10 hour wear. I can tell you, you know, you can definitely get 10 hours on these without creasing, but I can even get longer than that depending on the weather. So, I mean, they are really phenomenal. Now, according to them, if you use these uh, daily, after 28 days, you get a smoother eyelid look. So I don't know if that's accurate. I don't wear the same eyeshadow every single day. So, you know, I can't truly test that. But, you know, I just, I think they are a fantastic product in general. Now, as we're looking at the palettes, the thin shade at the top, that is always your matte, like your liner shade, those are your hyper mattes. So I would say that they are slightly drier than the soft matte. So they're more like your, more like a traditional matte, but not as powdery still. They still have a little bit of creaminess to them. The soft matte, however, does feel a little bit creamier. That is typically going to be uh, your bright eccentric color. So that if you are looking at the palette, you're looking at the bottom right triangle. So, you know, whatever that pop is, the metal foil we've seen is your left triangle in each of them. And then the satin is going to be your larger center shade. And I just, I love how you've got the four different finishes in every palette. You've got, you know, some great color combinations in here. I think they did undertones really well. De depending on how you layer things, you can really get you know a lot of dimension in your colors as well. So if you are somebody who's looking for not necessarily a duochrome, but you want you know a little bit of color reflect or a little bit of a more subtle pop, something a little bit more subtle, then put that bright color underneath, top it with your metal foil or your satin, and you can really get a little bit of that color through there. And it gives you this really soft look, but still something really unique and inter interesting. I love how the colors layer together and how they play with each other. And the finishes look great. Now that metal foil, that's seriously like liquid metal. So I have found that oftentimes I like to kind of tamp down the edges of those metal foils with a little bit of a satin so that it's a little bit more of a gradual uh, switch in finishes and they work beautifully together. I absolutely love it. Now about the color palettes themselves, they are all inspired by fabrics from Prada. So number one is called Portrait and I'll put the photos of the fabrics uh, up there with the eye, eye palettes so you can kind of see what they look like. And number two is profusion, and that is described as a profusion of smoky colors with a chartreuse yellow. Number three is pulse, it's fearless violets with a pulse of vibrant orange. 
And number four is poetry, a poem composed by a dusty pink with a hint of billiard green. And I mean, I just, I think this is definitely one of the best palettes. This one in particular was my favorite eyeshadow palette that, that came out last year. So I absolutely love this. And then we also have two additional palettes. So I'll put those on the screen so you can see them. We have number five, Pure. It's a pure and contrasted look with a celestial blue. Now this one does look like the neutral shades are gonna be a, a bit warmer. And then we have number six, Pulp, which is organic apricot shades enveloped with a reinvented pink. So I don't know if I'll pick up the other two or not, but I'm very, very happy with the four that I have. And, you know, I hope this helps as, you know, Prada is now introduced into the U.S. and other retailers in general so that, you know, you can make the right decision. Let's move on to foundation briefly, and then we'll take a look at the lipsticks. So Prada did come out with a foundation as well. And this is what it looks like in the full packaging. It is refillable, so you pull it out here. And this is actually where your shade name is. So I originally picked up LN10, and this is actually a glass bottle here. And you can purchase just the refill. It's totally functional just as the refill as well. So this shade was a little dark for me. So I ended up picking up a refill in LN5. I have to say though, it does oxidize a little bit too much, so it's slightly too warm. Let's go ahead and swatch these briefly and then we'll take a look at the foundation demo with the LN5. So this is LN10 here. And let's just spread this out. And then no, we'll put this on fresh now and after we go through the demo, we'll take a look at the level of oxidation. So this is LN5. So you can see there's a definite you know, shift in the color. You can see that LN10 is significantly deeper. LN5 is your lightest in the neutral range, but I think I probably should have gone with LC. So let's take a look at those foundation demos. And the foundation has 30 milliliters or one fluid ounce of product. It's made in France and we have a one year shelf life. So the Prada foundation is called the Prada Reveal Skin Optimizing Foundation. And according to Prada, it refines the skin in three dimensions, including tone, luminosity, and texture to reveal soft filtered skin in real life. The foundation has a breathable soft matte finish and up to 24 hour wear. This long lasting medium buildable coverage foundation is infused with what they call in real life microfilter technology. And that is trademarked. This technology consists of a molecule that microcrystallizes onto the skin. It's transfer resistant, formulated with vitamin E, niacinamide, and lactobacillus extract complex. And this is to improve skin tone, enhance skin's natural radiance and hydration, and refine skin texture. We also have broad spectrum SPF 17 sunscreen in there. There are 33 flexible coverage shades, and they were designed based on an AI algorithm that scanned over 3,000 different skin tones for shade optimization. As I mentioned, they are refillable, and it's super easy to refill. So the foundation itself retails for $70 in the US or 55 US for the refill. They have also produced a line of makeup brushes. And I have to say, I am kind of interested in the foundation brush. I think it looks pretty cool, uh, the shape of that, but I have not purchased that. They also have a blending sponge if that is your preferred method of application. Now the brushes, their brush line in general, just so you know, it's all synthetic. So they're all vegan brushes. Now the foundation itself, you can see it goes on smoothly. You're definitely looking at light to medium buildable coverage. It lasts all day, it wears beautifully, and it really does give you kind of that soft matte finish. Overall, I think this is a really beautiful foundation and I liked it enough in the shade LN10 that I purchased the lighter shade in hopes of getting something I could use every day. Now, just something to note, because it does have that soft matte finish, you know, I do feel like if you have very dry skin, this could end up looking a little bit dry on the skin, or if you're incredibly oily, you might end up with some breakthrough. So I think this is gonna be best for, you know, kind of those skin types that are surrounding a balanced skin tone. And overall though, I think it's a really nice 
foundation and it has worked well with all the different primers I've used and so forth. And it really does, you know, stay put without transferring throughout the day. So I wore it with like, I wear it with white sometimes. And you know, my, my children were kind of like moving my I had a white sweatshirt on the hood against my face and none of it rubbed off, which is not typically the case with foundations. So let's go ahead and take a look at those swatches again. Now, first we're gonna take a tissue here and we're just gonna kind of take off foundation. Is it completely transfer resistant? No. Do you take off a lot of foundation? Not really, this isn't too bad. So just something to know, I would not say it's transfer resistant, but you know, without a ton of like rubbing and stuff, you're not really gonna get much movement from that throughout the day. Now look at these swatches. You can see right off the bat that they are definitely deeper and more orange than they were when we first put them on. So this is the LN10, this is the LN5. Let me go ahead and show you a fresh, fresh swatch of each of those so you can kind of see. And so that's the LN10 when you first put that on. And here is the, we'll put the LN5 at the bottom here. And here's the LN5. So you can see how much oxidation occurs and honestly it gets a little bit more orangey. So that is not, you know, I, I feel like that could use a little bit of improvement. So let's go ahead and move on to the lipsticks. Now the lipsticks, just like the matte shades in the eyeshadow palette, we have two different finishes. We have soft, soft matte and hyper matte. So we're gonna start off with the three soft mattes that I have. Now these again are also refillable. You just kind of pull these and they click in. Now I do wanna mention, oh, by the way, you can totally twist this on your own if you just wanna purchase a refill. But um, the color names are on here. If you purchase as a lipstick, it's also on the bottom. And when I purchase a couple of the ones that I purchased, just so you know, they weren't clipped in into the case. So when I pulled the lid off, this was not clipped in. So no damage or anything, but it is something to watch for when you're first opening it for the first time, just to make sure that everything is where it should be. All right, so first up, this is P156. We're looking at the soft mattes. So the soft matte has silver here in the center, while the hyper matte is going to have gold. So that's how you can kind of tell your finishes apart. And this first shade, as I mentioned, is P156. And you can see that it is gonna be a nice pink here. And you can build this up. You can see that your soft mattes are gonna be more of a blurred finish lip look. And I'm actually wearing one of the soft mattes now. Now, I do wanna show you also the shape here. I have to say, it's an interesting shape. You can see we got more of a little triangle here. It's a little bit more rounded on the other side. You've got this flat line at the top. The flat line makes it easy to kind of line your lips, but I do have to say the angle of this makes it just a little bit more, you're putting on less product at a time, which is good because you can be a little bit more careful with your colors but I just haven't gotten quite to that comfort level where I can do it without looking in a mirror. So this one here is P157, and this is one of my favorites. So you can see we've got kind of that bright, cool pink for 156. 157 is gonna be rosier, more medium toned rose, and you know it's gonna be more neutral, whereas this is definitely pretty cool. And just one other thing to mention, on the top of the cap, they do have the Prada logo there as well. And then what I have on my lips right now is R127. Now I have to say, look at this in the bullet, doesn't it look red? On my lips, it's totally more pink. So, you know, it's, it's definitely more pink on the skin or when you swatch it. So this is R127. And you can see that it's still actually pretty cool in tone as well, but we have a little bit more strawberry in here. So yeah, overall, all three of these shades are gorgeous. Now the Hyper Matte, this is another one of my favorite shades here. This is B01. I'm gonna go ahead and put these right down here. And let's do a more sheer layer right there. So, this here is B01. It's actually a really beautiful nude on the lips. And it's 
got, it's pretty neutral. You've got some warmth, but you have cooler overtones in it. Whereas next up we have P02. This is definitely going to be warmer. So this is going to be more of like your peachy nude. And then last up we have P55. And this is going to be a bright color. The first thing it made me think of was actually the um, Valentino Pink is Punk. <laughs> so that's what I thought of first with that. So really beautiful, bright, vibrant pink. You can see you've got some blue tones in there. In comparison, these look so much warmer compared to this one. Although we definitely, these have cool tones. So this is just gonna be significantly cooler. Real quickly, this is Valentino Pink is Punk in the liquid, Liquid Rossos. So let me just go ahead and put this right here so you can kind of see how that compares. You can see we have kind of a similar blue base to it, but this is going to be less fuchsia. This is more like petal pink with the blue compared to this, which is gonna be much more vibrant. Just another quick comparison. This is Velvet Carnival from Lisa Eldridge. And you can see that that is going to be much more similar there. And just let's go ahead and do Skyscraper Rose while we're here. You can see Skyscraper Rose is going to be slightly warmer, actually, but still a similar vibe. And then might as well just look at Rainbow Spill while we're at it. We'll put Rainbow Spill up here. So you can kind of get an idea of how these shades might compare with others that you have. We're not really going to be doing a bunch of comparisons in this video. This is going to be more, you know, just for the swatches for Prada. So let's take a look at the lip swatches while we talk a little bit about these formulas. Now, both the soft matte and hyper matte lipsticks have 3.8 grams of product. We have a two year shelf life and these are made in France. I have to say, I think that they are really beautiful lipsticks. I like having the square in the center so it doesn't roll off the vanity. I think that is a nice touch and it actually stacks very nicely in my drawer that way as well. So uh, the lipsticks retail for 50 US dollars. The refills are 40 US dollars. As I mentioned, you can definitely use the refill completely on its own. And it does come with one of those little temporary caps on there that is perfectly, perfectly functional if you don't wanna move it to a full size packaging. Now the soft matte finish, according to Prada, it delivers adjustable, buildable coverage, a soft diffused matte finish lasting for up to six hours with minimal feel on the lips. I would agree with that. You kind of have that barely there lip feel. If you have very dry lips, you know, then you might wanna wear a lip balm underneath because it's not gonna really provide you any additional moisture but it's not going to dry out your lips either. So I find it to be very comfortable. It's formulated with what they call microfit technology. The texture glides seamlessly, fusing upon contact with the lips and feeling weightless. Now, according to Prada, it has bifidus extract and jojoba oil. And so when you're wearing this, it does upgrade your lip quality and appearance. There are 13 luminous matte colors and these are formulated with a white base and only three pure color pigments. So you're getting luminosity of the Prada nylon fabric in soft diffuse colors designed to flatter a range of skin tones. So I think it's kind of important to mention that they do have that white base because it allows the colors to be more pure, less muddy. So they're not gonna be your soft, um, you know, more dusky shades. They're gonna be a bit brighter in general. You can still have that soft finish, but have those brighter shades. Overall, I think the soft matte lipstick is really comfortable. I really, I like those a lot. When the line first came out, they didn't have any lighter shades in this soft matte finish. They have just released some new lighter nude shades. So I'm interested in picking those up, but I haven't done that yet. Now, as I mentioned, the hyper matte has a gold square in the center of the tube versus the silver for the soft matte. And in this case, Prada says that it delivers maximal color in one stroke coverage. It's a sophisticated matte finish with long lasting color and minimal feel on the lips. It basically has the exact same features as a soft matte, except you're not getting quite as much of that blurred lip look from this. This is gonna be a little bit more pronounced. And we have 
13 colors originally uh, with a black base. So you're gonna get really intense shades here. So that's gonna be your main difference between these. And just like with the soft mattes, we had some, you know, we had some neutrals, as you've seen, I picked up a couple of those, but they were kind of short on those lighter shades and they have since added some new ones as well. So we have new shades of both the hyper matte and the soft matte that have just debuted. Overall, I like both the soft matte and the hyper matte formula for different things, but I do find the soft matte to be slightly more comfortable on my lips than the hyper matte. Uh, so just something to note, although I have to say with the original batch of colors that came out, I did tend to wear the hyper matte more frequently because I really love that shade B01. It's kind of like a go-to neutral there. So I like both of them and I'm looking forward to picking up some of the new shades. So overall in summation, I think Prada Beauty has really nailed their beauty launch. You know, a lot of brands start up every year. We have a lot of luxury brands that have been, you know, starting up or adding new products. Prada Beauty has like basically nailed everything. Their foundation is a beautiful finish. Yes, they could definitely still work on their color range a bit. <laughs> I definitely think that could use some improvement. The brushes, they look nice, but I have not tried those. But the lipsticks, fantastic. The eyeshadows are absolutely phenomenal. The eyeshadows, I mean, I really think if you want to try one thing from Prada Beauty, get an eyeshadow palette. I really think that these are some of the best ones out there on the market. I I really, really love these. <laughs> so I hope this was helpful. I hope all of the swatches uh, could kind of help you make some decisions there. Just one more time. This is 156, 157, 127 in the soft matte. Over here, we have zero B01, B02, and then this one here is P55 in the hyper matte. And then the eyeshadow palettes, I picked up one through four. So we have one, two, three, and four. I think they are all great. I mean, there is, I, I absolutely love all of them. It's hard to pick a favorite. My number one favorite though would probably be number four. But following that, it's hard to decide which one of these two, but I think maybe three. I think three and four might be my favorite palettes here. It, it's just so hard to choose though absolutely love these. So uh, please let me know what your thoughts are if you've tried the brand and if not, you know, what you're interested in. So thank you so much for tuning in. I hope this was helpful. Have a great day.